Hey, what's up guys? So we are across the pond. We just landed in Poland just 30 minutes ago and we are here at one of our favorite suppliers and friends, CNC 71. Thank you for being here. I'm Stan, I'm owner of the company and... Hi, I'm Michael and I run Motorsports Division here. Let's go check their shop out. Okay guys, so we are in motorsport department and Michael will tell you a few words about what we are doing here. Let's go. So right here we've got the designers room. We also have 3D printers out here. Our designers are working very hard. How many designers do you guys have? Four. Four? Including me. <laughs> Including you? Yeah. Oh, same machine we have. The Bumble App is the way to go printer right now because it just goes. It doesn't stop. All right, uh, right here we've got two lifts, so we can put our new stuff to the cars. We can test them, see if we have enough clearance with everything. Uh, guys are prepping uh, E81 for the old race with our new pro kit, so you can like zoom here. And also this car is also equipped with our rear adjustable arms for now, but we are working on Procket for the rear too. Going further, we go into our video making part, like nice flooring. Uh, yeah, you can tell the light gets a lot better here. Yeah, lighting, not more lighting, nice couch. It's not like a steam couch. And also right here, you can see our Stand. display. Yeah, display, which shows the difference between stock 350Z and our Pro Kit for 350Z. And also stand for our Pro Shifter. So you get a whole DF just hooked up there. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a good track, but yeah. yeah <laughs> BMW. So all this you guys are taking to Ultra? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For this yeah. Way. What's this the first be? part that you ever made that's drifting related? Uh, it's here. This is, I think, the one of the first. Yeah. That's what they became famous for, on, at least on our site, was selling the budget kit. So it started with the adapters and then it went into the budget kit, but including yeah. the full arm. And it's still one of the very best popular kits that we use in a lot of the cars for people that daily drive their cars and just want to have a little bit of fun on the weekend. But I can't even tell you how many of those for the IS300, for the BMW 46, E36 that we've sold. It's been a lot. Yeah. What's your latest? Latest, latest creation that you guys have made e90 pro kit yeah and the shifter as well no? yeah, yeah 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 and also like this very nice uh, melt e-brake nice i like that we we are selling a lot of these yeah uh, explain what that is hidden hydro for 350z so like you basically take the um, center console out you install this whole assembly bolt it with the four bolts and you're good to go oh sorry you have to like cut the opening for the lever at the center console and you also are getting nice 3d printed cover for the like hole that you cut oh so that's one of those that you can unscrew it yeah 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 it's a hidden yeah, yeah. it's really hidden as soon as we left the shop i saw three or four of them on a the table ready to go ship out and i'm like yo that's popular I didn't yeah know yeah we yeah. had that yeah, yeah same that's why i'm saying <laughs> And also, I think that it's worth mentioning that uh, we've got a very nice monoball conversion kit for the RTAB uh, on the E46. This nice looking part here. It would be much easier if we had a car set up, but the arm has uh, rubber bushings in, into it. When the suspension is going through its travel range, the bushing is not rotating, but it also has the, like, the second degree of movement and when you are having uh, rubber bushing then it works somewhat nice but it's prone to moving around because the rubber is soft when you are having uh, polyurethane bushings then the it's not moving very much and the suspension it's the movement is not smooth and when you are putting the monoball conversion you're able to get battery smooth movement around the whole travel range so you can like basically have an off-road car or you can hit the upper arm to the body and still the range of movement is 
Okay, so right here is our shipping area. All of our orders are being packed and shipped from here through this door right down to you guys. So guys, we are in our service department. Uh, our company has, let's say, three departments. The first one is for services and the second one is for production of parts for industry and the third one is motorsport that we do also because of hobby that we have. In this department, uh, so for production of the parts, uh, we have some welding space. We also repair engines, we repair vacuums, we repair a lot of parts that you can find in production line. We do this, let's say, uh, dirty work here. Uh, here we have some magazine of material and there we have some of our machines. Uh, we started like seven years ago with uh, two machines, then uh, four machines and we ex explode, let's say. So we have two workshops. In the first workshop we have, let's say, similar setup of machines. So we have four uh, milling machine like we have two of those, so it's Haas VF2. We have Haas VF4, so two of those also. We have uh, DMG machines that I prefer personally because they are fast. Cumber plates here, you can see. Yeah, we put it here and we mill it. Three axis machines. Yeah, we have five axis machine, you can see here. The so five axis, it, it rotates in every direction. So you can do the part with just only two mounts. You don't need to, you know, make more mounts, only two of them. So another DMG, it's our workshops. We do the parts for industry, as I said, we do services and motorsport is like one of the business areas that we explore and yeah, having fun with it. So let's talk about the real reason we here. So a year ago, Stan called me exactly a year ago, a day after Old Trace. And I was like, hey, we need to get you boys out here. I know your schedule is busy. Let's put the date on paper and let's make something happen. And we, he made it happen for us. He built us two cars as fast as he could for us to have an amazing time. One of the cars, me and Colette are gonna drive. The other car, Adam is gonna drive. He was supposed to be here today. His flight got canceled, our flight got canceled. We took the red eye, we flew to Tampa. We, we did everything we needed to do so we could be here today because they're having a hangout, they're doing a cookout for us. So we had to make it happen. So me, Joel, we got no sleep. We have red eyes and no sleep, but we're here and ready to have some fun. So tell us about the car. What What's this? What car is this? All right, so as you can it, see, it's a very basic spec BMW E46 compact. It was like a 1.8 liter engine at the beginning. Now it's M54 B25. As you can see, as I said before, it's very basic stuff. Uh, our lock adapters. So just a lock instead of the full arm on this? Yeah, yeah, this, yeah, 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 yeah. Good. The coilovers, second caliper for the hydro, our pro shifter, our pro hydro, bucket oh, seats, harnesses. Yeah, wow, yeah, this thing yeah. is mint, you know, bro. You can drive in the dirty I car, know. yeah? Damn. Uh, also the RTAB mounting points with uh, higher adjustments and the RTAB upgrade kit I've told before. And as you can see, the really nice 18 by 10 and a half Corvette. Corvette rims, yeah. And slam to the nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This Good. is all trace spec right here. If yeah. you're not rubbing, if you're not doing that, it means you're not even there, right? Yeah, yeah. Can't show up with inch, two mm -mm. inch gap there. Mm -mm. It's so a yeah. Shame. Travel, no travel. No. Chelsea, I'm sorry. Chelsea actually loves these cars. They are ugly mm. as hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but they, they work. Yeah, sure. They work. Do they, they have a full subframe just like a E46, or they have yeah, something yeah. modular? Yeah, the, yeah. No, that's the like regular E46. That's E36 cool. is worse. E36, E36 has E30. Compact yeah. has E30 rear, yeah. rear suspension. So this is but regular. Yeah, yeah regular yeah. trailing, regular mm -hmm. everything. Yeah, it's the very same car as yeah. the other bodies. This is cool. And oh, yeah. loud exhaust. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> loud exhaust. Yeah. There you go. Well, I'm I'm excited to drive it. Maybe Joel can drive it too, right? No, no, no. Ah, no. 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 no, he's a yeah. 36 guy, so yeah, so yeah, like yeah, just yeah, yeah, yeah. Very But like you know, maybe no travel, but uh, there's only one degrees of camber, so mm -hmm. it'll work. Yeah. You guys made it work. I'll yeah. make it work. Sure. <laughs> so we're gonna skip the RX-7 over here. So let's <laughs> talk about this gem. What was this thing a month ago? The well, pictures did not look like this. You guys yeah. did an amazing job putting it yeah. together. Tell it us what was, you did. 
Uh, we've painted the whole car in like eight hours. So uh, it was a very hard time. It was very hard. Managed to like put the tent up so we won't get burned, but we did anyway. So, you painted this outside? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What parts you put on there? Same knuckle adapter and everything yeah. that you put on the other yeah. car? Yeah, basically very same stuff. Does it have the lower arms? Uh, lower arms are stuck out here. Uh, only the lock adapters, camber plates, bucket seats, harness, wheel, hydro, and second caliper uh, at the back also. Yeah, the I don't know if Colette's gonna approve this, bro. Uh, someone will need to do something about it. <laughs> Tight. And it's like uh, it rips actually because uh, I've been testing this car at our local track with the very same spec. We yeah. changed nothing and it like rips third gear. Third gear? Yeah. What what diff is in this? Yeah, 345 is out here because in oh, like in 90% okay. of uh, Euro spec E36s they will be uh, 345 except for M3s and diesels. Wow, looks like I'm we carrying don't. something in my yeah. luggage. Back. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so third gear. Yeah. And this but is a you 2.5, need, like, you said. Uh, it's M50 B25 Vanos. Okay, okay. So, okay. Yeah. We dig it. Yeah. It's the same as the ones we did at the compound. Oh, yeah. So yeah. We, we try to limit everybody to drive the mm -hmm. same same spec mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. was, I think one or two have a 2.8, but most mm -hmm. of them, they rip. If you yeah. put the right gear in, mm -hmm. a good clutch. Yeah. Told clutch you about the clutch. Important. If this yeah. clutch goes. We have few clutches there. Yeah. Okay. Michael, yeah, Michael okay. changed the clutch in 15 minutes. So. All right. All 15 right. 15 right. minutes. Well, 15 minutes is to take out the gearbox, but it's another 15 us? minutes. With Can what? you go home with us then? With it? Yeah, oh. well, we'll take it. You don't need them anymore. 15 minute clutch changes and BMWs, let's go. Yeah. Well, the, like you need to prep the car first. Like, you know, take all the sound yeah. insulating and uh, leave some nuts at the table. But yeah. like you can yeah. bolt the gearbox <laughs> back with three bolts and yeah, like... No, the, you... trick, the trick is just don't have it there to begin with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. have four bolts in my transmission. I have three. No, oh, oh, faster. <laughs> That's where you get the 15 minutes from. Yeah, yeah. Well, the car yeah, looks amazing. You guys did a phenomenal job with it. Like, he's going to be stoked with this. This is super cool. I know it's going to be trash and door marks, especially with Jimmy and all the boys being here. Yeah. It's, it's going to be hell, but it looks sick. I appreciate you guys taking that extra effort to make those decals. But it looks cool. So now tell us about your car. What well, are you driving? Uh, I'm driving this E46 as you can see out here and it's uh, i'd say very crazy build because in terms of uh, solutions we've decided to come up with because <laughs> this thing is m54 bit 30 forged intel internals garrett g25 550 turbo and with uh, turbo smart fifth gen wastegate v-bands adjustable v-bands the elastic v-bands all around the intercooler this is actually the hellcat throttle body hellcat yeah. i was wondering that's why that's like 105 millimeter yeah on there. yeah that's what yeah. it is yeah oh uh, my god 105 this one is <laughs> oh okay. okay yeah but i saw that the guys in the us are like uh, boring them out to bigger dimensions as i said forge internals uh, lamborghini coal packs uh, 630 injectors and the very crazy exhaust manifold because the west gate is actually next to the control arm and not like as close as possible to the turbo as you might build it also the oil return line from the turbo is going not like into the front timing cover or uh, into the oil pan it goes all around the engine into the oil dipstick nice. i've got the secondary pump to make sure that the oil will actually reach there yeah 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 and this intake what, what brand is this it's just uh, a generic intake china yeah, boy yeah yeah china boy but uh, i don't recommend this china boy because we've had to modify this part to yeah. even close the hood and we've had to modify the fuel rail in order to fit back the stock parts 
and also a part for you guys to make right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think right. <laughs> yeah, sure. There's a lot of these engines in the U.S. We only know one that ma they make like manifolds and stuff like that. What's his name? Corey. So that's all custom stuff. He's yeah. the guy who specializes in M M54 B30. Yeah. So he's the guy. So make manifolds. You'll sell them. Yeah. Okay. To start up, we've got uh, front full kit for this car. Uh, our big adjust big adjustment camber plates uh, for the ECU. We've got link fury and it takes care of everything in the car even including the ac control at the back um, we have the second caliper adapter made up by us our adjustable control arms at the bottom rtab monobile adapter part that we've talked about uh, before what else full row cage it's actually competition ready after a few tweaks for the wiring, as Marta said before, big wing, uh, stock fuel tank for now, part for the spare wheel is cut out. Okay, so this is our uh, next project we have. For the moment, we did Stan's car, so we changed the, the front bumper for RX7. We also changed the rear side of the car. We made uh, bigger uh, rear fenders. Uh, yeah, and this car looks nice. Approved. Approved. <laughs> we put bigger wheels, and yeah, it looks nice for Europe. Stock Corvette. Is it stock You're Corvette? not doing anything crazy. Or stock. Or LS, one or LS6. Z06 is LS6. Z06 so is. Is Z06 this one? Yeah, this is Z06 with uh, standard engine. We did camshaft in it. Yeah, so. We make dyno, it has 418 horsepower uh, on wheels and 400, uh, 483 for in dyno. So yeah, so nice. It's uh, our new project that we are going to uh, explore. Can we just go eat? Thank you. Boy, howdy, do I love these. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so Stan fed us, showed us his shop. I'm looking forward to this weekend. You guys are going to be driving, and I'm going to love seeing Duarte in that E46 Ti and Adam in that E36. I also would like to see it. And guys, thank you for coming. You spent 14 hours, 15 hours? Yeah, it was like about a whole day of travel, and we're exhausted. We're just going to cut it short. You guys saw the shop. There's going to be more where that came from. You're going to see the Ultra Race events. There's going to be show cars, drift cars whole bunch of cool guys like this guy so make sure to stay tuned and like comment subscribe thank you again thank you guys for coming and you for watching our boy our polish boy Adam. hello everything's just great we're still good friends adam's actually gonna come back to america and help us out finishing some projects he told me he has some exciting new products coming out big yes. brain over here just coming out with new things all the time yeah just want to give you guys an update on adam since we're in poland this is where he was about what you were three miles away yeah something like that <laughs> real close so he drove his nice little gr86 over it's good seeing you bro yeah it's good seeing you too i'm sorry there's no chick-fil-a's in, in poland ah, what can you do <laughs>